Hey guys, what's going on? Troy here, and it's time to go find some of that Mountain Mad treasure. Okay, so here's what's going on, guys. Um, woke up a little bit early this morning, and just out of habit, took a look at the yard sale treasure map, and lo and behold, there it is an X on the spot. Now we are out of garage sale season here in Montana. We have been since probably September. Uh, it's about uh, 32 degrees, I think, the thermometer said this morning, a little bit overcast, really pretty nice morning. Uh, I think we are inching toward garage sale day, but we're not really quite there yet, or garage sale season, but we got one today. And I've also got the treasure camp to debut today. We got the uh, the GoPro all hooked up. I got a, uh, a clamp. So I'm gonna give this a shot and hopefully we can get this figured out so when the full on garage sale season shows up, uh, we can bring you some garage sale footage. So that's what's going on. I gotta get in the car, I gotta get some cash. Okay guys, we are here. First garage sale of the season. Let's go check it out. Hey man. Uh, we need a free sign too, Brianna, for this stuff over here. What? We need a free sign. A free sign made up. Hi, sir. How are you? Good. Are you GoPro on this or what? Yeah, I got a uh, YouTube channel. Oh, really? Go around to garage sales, state sales, stuff like that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, people love it. Oh, cool. You're getting in early on the garage sale season. Oh, uh, you see all this garbage? <laughs> oh, no, that's treasure, man. You see all this treasure? <laughs> Thank you. 
Mind if I start a, a pile here? I got a bag for my other stuff, but I don't think I should put the saws in there. Do what you gotta do. All right. How much are you looking for for them? I think there's probably some. You got to dig through, but what if somebody just grab, grab the whole thing? Yeah, what I do don't you know. Make an offer, I guess. Well, why don't I just? If I just build a pile, and we okay, just, okay, does yeah. that work? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm all ready to give you some money. Okay, cool. You don't have any like old like video games or anything you're getting rid of, do you? Uh, somebody already grabbed those. Oh, yesterday. they already. A friend grabbed those yesterday. They swing. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got beat. Yeah. So we got. We got that's all right. We got the um, just little toys there, and I grabbed. There's a. Uh, oh, there's four. Four squirt guns. Okay. Two, three. Yeah. I bought a piece for the squirt guns, or four? okay. So oh. like four, and then I grabbed. Um, I have these two saws. Okay, so that's so a buck a piece. piece. Yeah. So you got six. And then I grabbed uh, you just like the drill, a buck. drill that bit. Was a buck. So seven that was on bucks. The buck table. Yeah. Seven bucks. Okay. So what do you think? Seven plus. I don't know. What do you think for those toys? We're just. I mean, I don't know. I haven't even looked all through there. Would you do just ten bucks? Call it a flat ten bucks. Okay. Is that fair? Yeah, sure. For those. What do you think? Or do you want to try to have worn some online? I don't know. I'm just, I, the thing is, is I don't even know how much they're, you know, how much they're worth. We were going to yeah. ask Lawrence and we just didn't. So. Yeah, he was it's here It's up to you if forgot. you want to, if you want to sell them for a flat rate or if you want to wait it out and see what Lawrence would Oh, recommend. we might. 
I don't know. We might hold on to these. And there's okay. There's a guy that sells stuff online. Okay. And um, I don't know. We should just get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, we gotta do. We, have, we gotta go on that mentality. All right, ten bucks. Ten bucks. Yours. Okay, we can do Treasure that. Treasure them. Yeah. <laughs> do you have change. Who's, yeah, what, who's so the money boss? Yeah, uh, seventeen. I think 17? is that we're up to seventeen. Yeah. And so two of those bucks are for Sheldon. Okay. Okay. One, two, three dollars. Perfect. Thanks very much. That little. Uh, crib bed thing there is cool is that you're, you're just using that to hold the basket oh, there's a story behind that that right? thing's really neat yeah it was my mom's baby crib. oh no way and i was gonna put it in the garage sale and she saw it and tears oh like, no she was super upset and she it's was really like, no, neat i get it i know you need to get you know to get rid of it but i don't want it at my house so i was gonna sell it and now i feel like i can't yeah <laughs> it's super thank neat. you very much no i got it i appreciate oh, okay. it thank you very much I know, now I gotta dig through. Yeah. Good luck today. Yeah, hopefully you find a treasure in there. Okay guys, so let's go over the stuff that we picked up first from the garage sale. I have some of it laid out here and we're gonna take a look at what it cost, what I think I can get, and then what that means in terms of profit. Okay, so we start off with this here. These, if you see these, this drill index, um, this actually is pretty uh, desirable if it's full. Uh, this one is not. We're missing not just one, but see it folds out. And we're missing all the ones behind it there too. Uh, this full is like 20 bucks, and it'll sell at $20, free shipping all day long. But as it is not super valuable, the, the good thing is I got this, they just bundled everything together. We paid $1 for all of these drill bits. Uh, I think if I put this at $19.99 free shipping it'll move really fast so we ought to make a net profit after fees after shipping of about nine bucks because we've got we've got these but we've also got these new ones here uh, three masonry bits masonry bits are expensive um, these are just new old stock so we got those and then we've also got this is like wood and uh, metal then we got that one, then we got that one, then we got all these loose ones. Uh, I might even put it up at $24.99 free shipping and turn on best offer, but I think if I want to move it quick, we can put it at uh, $19.99 free shipping and call it good, just put it in a padded flat rate envelope and make a quick nine bucks. This over here, uh, not super valuable, but he just threw this one in, he said, you know what, take it. Um, so our cost of goods is nothing, which is fantastic. Um, the valuation on this, about 10 bucks free shipping. Not super valuable. It's a uh, Red Devil. I don't know if we can see on here. It's super fade. There you go. Red Devil K23. Uh, y there would be value if you could find a set of these. This is uh, a carpentry uh, tool. I think it's used in flooring primarily. Um, but I think something like $9.99 free shipping. So we make four or five bucks there. Um, these are a little bit better. Well, at least this one is. Uh, this is an old Craftsman. There you go. You can see right there. Craftsman. Super tough saw. It's steel. It's a cross-cut saw. It's in really, really good shape. So um, the cost of goods is a dollar. I think uh, on the low side, it's $10 plus shipping. We could push like 10, uh, maybe 12 or 14 or something. But again, to move it fast, I could, I could go with $9.99 plus shipping. And we'd make somewhere between 7 and 8 bucks. This would be super easy to ship as well. Just wrap, put some paper in it, uh, around it, put some bubble around it, and then sandwich it between some cardboard. So I, I think this could be somewhere between 10 and 15 for the Craftsman. This one is probably about a $10 and it's gonna move slower. Uh, this is an R1 Rancher by Diston. Um, it's got a pretty cool handle on it, but this brand just doesn't move particularly well. But for a dollar, I grabbed it. So uh, again, cost of goods is a dollar. If we sell it for $9.99 plus shipping, we make seven or eight bucks on that. And okay, then we can, and now we've got our super soakers. I uh, picked up three of these. These are uh, by Nerf. It's a Nerf Thunderstorm. Um, this has actually got uh, an ammo clip on it. You put the water in there in these, uh, in these clips and it feeds up into the gun and it's fully automatic. Um, really, really cool. Um, these an older version, they actually still make this one. 
they still make the uh, the Thunderstorm. You can get newer ones. Sometimes you'll find them new in package. But uh, pretty good squirt gun. They're not selling right now. The sell-through rate is not very high, but it's just now fixing to be summer. So these are going to start moving. Um, I got two of these yellow ones. And we got a blue one as well. I don't see a lot of the blue ones. Now we got some marker on there. We'll see if we can get that off. Uh, if not, I don't think it's a huge deal, but we'll try and get that off. So we got two of these. We got one of these. And then we've got two of these clips as well. So I think what we're going to do, and he charged me, um, I got all of the guns for a buck a piece. And then we did these for a two for a dollar. So four bucks into the squirt guns here. I think what I'm going to do, this one is just going to sell by itself. And then we'll package, we'll do a lot. So there we go. We'll do a lot. We'll, we'll package um, one of the yellow ones with a, uh, a second ammo clip on there. And I think if we do that, we can sell these yellow ones for about 18 bucks, you know, $17.49, $17.99, something like that, um, with this and the clip plus shipping. And then this one I think is about 15 bucks plus shipping. So that's pretty good. We're $4 into these, uh, these super soaker guns. The valuation again, eight, we call it 18 bucks by two and 15 by one after fees. We're looking at 40 bucks. I think the real value is in our action figures. Most of them are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Most of them from very early, like 1989 turtles. Unfortunately, none of them have accessories. So that's a huge bummer and it really takes down the value of, of these things, but they still are desirable. It's just, they don't sell for as much, but we paid $10 for the entire box. We're certainly going to make up our money on this thing. Uh, I'm going to have to lot some of them up and it's going to come in three, four, $5 profits at a time, but all of these figures are going to sell. Let's look at them. Okay. We'll start over here with the non turtles. And we got a, I haven't, I, I have no idea about the value on this guy, but uh, we got an old Doc Ock. Uh, this from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is a Spider-Man. I can't read that on there. I think it's like the others, probably an 89. I did look at this guy earlier. We got uh, a Captain America. He is from 1980. I don't know. So we got some random some value. Okay, you want a snake? We got a little rubber snake. This, I'm not sure what it goes with. I think, oh, I just knocked over one of our guys. I think it might go with our vehicle over here. I got to look. Um, we got a couple of wrestlers, uh, Macho Man, Randy Savage, right? And I don't know who this is, but he's got, uh, he's, he's got, the, ow, he just bit me. He's got the ninja arm action on the back, see? So he can, uh, he can give you a noogie. So he's out of focus. Come on, come on. There you go. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know about these guys. I'm knocking them all over. A couple belts, I assume, go with those guys. Uh, I haven't looked up Randy to know what he's worth. Um, and then we move into Turtles. I think the rest of this is Turtles. And starting back here, that is the Foot Cruiser. That's what all the, uh, the Foot Soldiers drove around in. Now, it's not complete. You can see, you know, there's supposed to be something there. Um, we got our... Uh, wrestler covering up there's supposed to be something there there's accessories and it's a little banged up but even in this condition um they're relatively rare and i think it's still desirable so i think this is something that's maybe a, a i don't know we might put this at auction and see but 15 or 20 bucks i think in this condition um i'd say 15 is a safe bet plus shipping um this will probably pay by itself will pay for the whole box um, over here we got an accessory. This might actually go with our vehicle as well. I'm not sure. I gotta look up what used to go on that uh, turtle vehicle. Um, I'm not sure. But we got an accessory here. Yeah, I don't know if it works. Um, this guy, I don't know what he is. This is, this is non-turtles. Um, he's a little twitchy, but if you get him all the way back, alright, we got some karate chop action. Right? And then or karate kick action. Now, now we got karate chop action. I don't know. It's from a movie, though. Um, I don't know if we can focus. There we go. See that? What movie is that from? Columbia Pictures? I don't know. I'm going to have to look him up. 
interesting anyway. Uh, now we get into our turtles. Uh, th there are some things down here. I have no idea. Somebody's missing their shears. This I don't think is turtles. I don't remember anybody with an acoustic guitar in turtles. This looks like a dog got to it at some point, so unfortunately that's garbage. And then these guys, these guys are non-turtles. Um, I don't know actually what they are other than it looks like they were in a horrific accident. So these guys I think are trash, unless you guys know what they are. And uh, you're going, no, wait, those are salvageable. Those are worth a lot of money. I don't know. Okay, I have no idea here. what those things are. Let's see if we can do this before my battery dies it's about about there um some of these guys are not only missing accessories uh they're missing necessities one foot two foot three foot no oh, just three foot so old leatherhead is missing his back leg unfortunately so he's probably not worth a whole lot i'm gonna lot him with somebody else we'll see if we can get rid of him but yeah leatherhead missing his leg um this guy what is this? bebop right not rock steady bebop uh, so we've got him. I wish we had Bebop and Rocksteady to lot together, but for some reason we only have the one. I think he's about ten bucks. Um, Who's this guy? This is a uh, General Trag, I think. A lot of these are individually probably worth about ten or twelve dollars, free shipping. Um, so we'll see. Uh, General Trag. I think I'm gonna lot him up, and we'll just do like a bad guy lot, right? Since we got the busted guy, we've got Baxter here and he's missing his wings so unfortunately that's not great so i think if we lot uh, the wingless the legless um the partnerless you know we put these guys together we got general trag uh we got uh the rat king right um so i think we could throw him into the villain pile and maybe let these guys go off on their own this guy might be good on his own um I'm trying to remember is this krang crag something uh, he's got his walker, which is good, but this was supposed to have a, uh, there's supposed to be a clear top on there, and it's missing that. So he's got half of the walker. Now, this guy would sell on his own, just like this, and there goes the walker. Um, he'd sell on his own, but I think we'll try and sell him with this, just as, you know, an in the incomplete walker, and we'll see. Again, this might be, might be this one might be about a $15 figure. Um, we do have the four, so we've got our four turtles. Those are going to go as a lot. That's the easiest thing. I mean, we could probably sell them individually for people completing, but it's just as easy to sell an instant collection, especially since basically none of them have their accessories. We do have one here. <laughs> That's it. So no accessories. I think we'll lot the four together, and we ought to be able to get about 20 25 bucks. I think, out of these. These are the hard-headed version. There are out there, I think, Think it's more desirable the soft headed version uh, those are worth more so keep an eye out for those but these are all this is like 1989 mirage studio is where these guys are so i think 20 25 bucks for those um here we've got uh metalhead metalhead is probably again about ten dollar he's got his backpack which is nice so maybe that puts him at 12 to 14 something like that um, we got check comps but we got metalhead he's good um Yo, Jimbo, we got the rabbit. I've sold a, a larger version of him before. Um, as he is, without his accessories, he's not super valuable. So I might lot him in with the turtles, actually. Uh, we'll do the turtles in Yo, Jimbo, and uh, see if we can get uh, 25 to maybe 30 if we put him in there. Maybe tw I bet we can get 25 if we put him with the turtles. Um, uh, Ace, I think. Ace Duck. He's got his wings. Which is good. They, they detach in the back, so a lot of times you'll find him without that. But he's supposed to have a hat. He's supposed to have a gun. You know, so he's, again, like the rest of them, he's missing his accessories. Not sure what he's worth on his own, but we'll try, right? We'll, we'll see what he's worth. We do have this guy. I was excited. This was the one guy I saw on the top at the garage sale, so I knew we had something. Uh, we got Casey here. He's got, I, I think he was supposed to have a hockey stick, but he's got two bats. So that's helpful that he's got those two. I think complete, he's probably a 20 to $25 figure. Like this, we're looking at 15 to 20. I think it helps that he's he's a little bit accessorized. So um, that's looking good too. And then here we've got the, uh, what was this? The pizza thrower, I think is what this was called. Um, this, I th yeah, I think this sat on top of the chassis here and it's supposed to have little discs 
um, pizzas, right? And it would shoot those out. Um, the battery compartment in this, I did look, I closed it now, see it shoots them out back here. The battery compartment is super clean. So I'll get some batteries. I don't know how to test it without those discs, but we'll we'll see. I don't remember if it makes any noise without it or anything, but um, it's super clean. And it, again, like like the uh, like the Foot Clan's rig, this one not complete. There's a lot of doodads on the side that we need, but the stickers are clean. Uh, everything is nice. So I think somebody that wants to start a rehab project, they've got to start here. So that's not bad. But yeah, again, 10 bucks for that whole pile of turtles, which is pretty good. I mean, just Casey, I think, is going to get us 20. Uh, the quartet of turtles, we throw in the rabbit, that's 20 to 25. Maybe the bad guy lot is uh, is 15 bucks plus, you know, 15 bucks for uh, the brain with his walker. Um, you know, we, we've got the foot soldier. I mean, we we might be pushing $100 here in this box so pretty good right i mean not bad for the first garage sale of the season i think we did pretty good i'm pretty excited about this one and uh stay tuned because we got lots more coming up it was a really busy day uh coming up later this week after that garage sale went by and picked up my buddy jeff and we went to a storage auction he bought a unit we've never bought a unit before you can see how that went uh, then we stopped by the thrift store there for 15 minutes and scored big. That's coming up. And then we went and checked out a couple of uh, previews for online auctions. One of them just went, ended up going up too high. I mean, people were bidding that stuff up to a premium. But another one, I wound up, I think, maybe scooping up a couple of things. We'll check that out this week as well. Busy, busy day. But guys, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Just the one sale today, but I was excited uh, for a garage sale season to be here. And I hope you enjoyed the look around. I'm still figuring out the GoPro. It was the first time we used it. I think I need to angle it down a little bit better. Uh, got it later on in the sale. Didn't get it in the first half, so apologize for that. We'll maybe do a little bit of talking to you a little bit so you can not just listen to the wind blow. Like everything on this channel, we'll learn as we go. Hit that thumbs up. Send me a comment if I missed something. Uh, if you got something to say, I'd love to chat with you. Uh, subscribe, please. We are pushing towards 500. Uh, I've got some really cool stuff showing up to give away once we do. So I'm excited about where the channel is going, and I appreciate you riding along with me. That's what we got for today, guys. I appreciate you. We'll see you next time.